Osaka fan. Hi, I'm Roman. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making for you some flying fish and cuckoo. If you want to see how I make this dish, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. I was lucky to get my hands on some flying fish. This is one of my favorite fish and I used to love this when I was a child. My dad would go out and he would get so much of this fish and we would have it for days just eating flying fish with everything. And uh, this one is from Barbados. I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorite dishes with it. It's a uh, flying fish and we call it cornmeal, uh, turn cornmeal, uh, fufu, finji. There's a lot of different names to it, but it's actually cornmeal with okra seasoned up and uh, and boiled down. I'm inviting you guys to come along and join me and just hang out with me while I make my lunch. I'm going to open this up. And, you know, I wish I had more of this fish, but somebody actually gave it to me. So, which was nice. They've been filleted. So, you see, they're small fishes, but they really really delicious so I have five of them so that's okay that's enough for me what I'm gonna do is put some cold water and I'm gonna get some fresh lime and I'll wash it with the fresh lime I remember when I was a kid and my dad would have his boat and go out to fish and he would come in that boat would be full to the brim from flying fish when they were in season it's not like you can fish it with a line so they had these kind of basket things that they would just scoop it out of the ocean very interesting I'm just gonna season it up with some all purpose seasoning I don't want to put too much stuff on it a little bit of onion powder now this fish is really good for sandwiches if you wanted to make a um, fish sandwich it's perfect put a little lime just a bit of lime there I'm just gonna let it sit with the seasoning for a few minutes and then I'm gonna fry it I'm going to start frying this flying fish. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. And now I'm going to just put some flour just to dust them before I put them in the hot oil. In the meantime, I'll let my oil heat up. So I'm using some corn oil. I don't need a lot because I don't have a lot of fish. We're just going to start frying now. I think my oil is really hot enough. Shouldn't take too long. One thing I must say that they did a very good job um, on this fish, getting the bones out. This is so good. And every time I go to Barbados, as soon as I hit the airport, that's what I get. A flying fish sandwich. Always. So I'm just going to take them out because they're cooked. Okay. That would make a really nice sandwich too. But... Okay, so that's our flying fish all done. Now what I'm going to do next guys, I'm going to make a sauce to put these in. I'm going to put one onion. I'm going to put a little piece of this hot pepper and 
gonna put some tomatoes, garlic, parsley, and some scallion. So I'm gonna put that in there. That's good. I'm gonna pour this in. We're gonna put a little bit of ketchup in there. So a couple tablespoons. Just gonna let it boil and then let it reduce. So you see that's the sauce, it's all done, nice and thick. All it is is just the onions and tomato and just make a nice rich sauce. I'm going to make some cornmeal, turn cornmeal, and I, at the same time I'm going to make some carrots. And I'm just going to steam my carrots, it's just I have a few different colors of carrots. So we're gonna get some water in here to make our cornmeal, two and a half cups. So I'm just gonna put some okra in there. Just gonna season that up with some all-purpose seasoning. So I just put enough to make it, give it some flavor. A little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder. Now you could use like real garlic and onion in there too, but I'm just doing simple today. So I'm going to put some butter in there as well. And we're just going to cover that and let that okra boil. And I think my carrots should be steamed. Oh yeah, they're done. And let's see our okras here. I'm going to use one cup and just mix it in here. So you just want to make sure you whisk in this really well so you don't get any lumps in there. It's going to be nice and smooth. And it's starting to come together. So, oh, I need strength. So we're just going to turn that. I guess that's why they call it turn for me. You really have to do this. A couple more minutes and it should be ready. Guys, look at this our corn. It's ready. So what I'm gonna do is plate it and then I'll show you once I have everything together what it looks like. So guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I put a little bit of butter in here and then I'm gonna take some of this and put it in the bowl. So this is gonna shape it for me. So I can put it on the plate. So you wanna put your butter melted and then you just shake it around. So you wanna shape it. You wanna turn it, right? To shake it up. So we put it there and see, comes out like that. This is my flying fish with my cuckoo. Until next time, have a great day and God bless.